it's time for the final. Leicestershire and Staffordshire are about to battle it out. Race to 12 frames. We've put 80 minutes onto the match clock. It's shootout pool, golden breaks, golden ducks. Six red shootout if it finishes tied. And interestingly, straight away, we're seeing the lag. How important is this, Jimmy? This is massive um, because both players will obviously want to break first, want to go after a good start, maybe a break dish, you know, settle the nerves. I'll tell you what, that's, that, so this is interesting. A change of plan for Staffordshire. They've sent out Alex Bailey, who is their, he's been their second man all weekend long. Wack has been their number one all weekend long. Wack has been going out there, winning the lag and breaking. He's broken first every single match. That was a purpose loss there from Alex. He's thrown the lag because he wants to go second to allow Wacker to break in the second frame. Interesting tactics afoot here. <laughs> yeah, that's, um, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that wasn't the proper lag, was it? That he barely, I don't think he reached mid-table, did he? But yeah, I mean. Well, he's thrown it, isn't he? It's, he it's, wanted to lose it. It's part and parcel, and yeah, he's yeah. close to enough. Oh, it's a nice break. It's a really nice break from Wayne. Wayne's been brilliant this weekend. He really has, especially today. He was good yesterday, but had a couple of... Well, he had one frame that he didn't get to the table in. Nothing you can do about that. He was dished on, but when he gets to the table, he's been brilliant, and today he's been flawless. Yeah, he's a good player. Been about for a long time. As he keeps breaking like that, and the ball's going like that. The whole team will be over the moon. So, first chance for Leicestershire. And a chance that you must say, if this was practice, these are probably in by now. I have to say, I wanted to go and just check that, so I've just put up the team lineup because the, the teams are now live. We know what the order's going to be because it felt like that was a purpose loss, and I was expecting Rob to be going second. They're, they're obviously captain and leader of this team. He's not, and that wasn't a purpose loss on the lag, I right. don't think, because Wacker is actually going fifth. So right. essentially, they wanted to win the lag and have Wacker with the break in five and Alex with the break in, in one. So Who's third then? Staffordshire has completely mixed it up. They've got Alex Bailey at the top, Zach Cooper second, Jake Cooper third, Neil Jones fourth, and then Rob Warren fifth. Yeah, so the bigger breakers, the three probably strongest players on paper there. Yeah, all First, the big third breaks. And fifth, yeah, all the big breaks, yeah. So that was a poor lag then from, from Alex. It wasn't a purpose. It just looked like it. <laughs> <laughs> he reached the halfway point on the table. Really interesting. First time all weekend long when the match has been live that Staffordshire has decided to, to change it up. There has been some tweaks for Leicestershire. They kept it much the same at the start, Wayne Gardner and Matt Barcock, but then they're going to mix it up thereafter. There has been some changes. Ross Townsend, sorry, Reese Townsend's been moved up to third. Ross Smith's been moved up, moved up to fourth. So a bit of a change around for both counties here. And whilst we're running through that, Wayne Gardner here has just flown through this beautifully. What a start this could be for Leicestershire. Get ready for the noise because there will be a lot of it. Fantastic break and finish. If he pots this eight ball, which he should do. Yeah, great start. Big for Wayne, big for Leicestershire. Means a lot to everybody out there. They're pumped up. Very impressive start. He's done that throughout the day, though. Just getting his side off to the perfect start. Hasn't dropped the frame all day. And continues the momentum. Leicestershire won all three matches this afternoon. They come into the final with a stronger day so far, if that matters at all. I hope you do realise, Simon, that if it starts to get close and get down to the nitty-gritty, I'm going out there, me, with my flag, <laughs> my pom-poms, shouting for staff. So might throw the old come on out the door every now and again. <laughs> Big break required. He's not hit them the best. He's potted. He's potted. I just had a note from the tournament director, more on the change of order for Staffordshire because they are on the right hand side of the arena their order has to change in the second session so that's why they've mixed it around these 
Rob's tried to be clever to make sure that the he gets people early in position on the second session of 11 frames. So very much interesting decisions out there for Rob. Slightly different for Leicestershire who play 1 to 11, 1 to 11. Of course, they can change their players, but you can't change position. Yeah, I'd be looking to screw this in. A little bit of left hand side on the cue ball and bump that yellow out that he's just been lining up there. So the, the middle yellow of the three here. He'd be looking to hit that full in the face. Yeah, not bad. Not a bad result, that. He'll take that. You feel he needs one more good positional shot, though, but I think he'll take the result. Yeah, I think he needs to play this now at pace with check side and check back down towards the middle of the table. He can't just roll this in because they have too much angle to leave himself no shot. He needs to come back down in the business end here, Zach. There's the check side, but it's nowhere near enough. He's left himself dead. Yeah. I don't even think he can get the pot here in the middle. It's a really poor shot. Needed to be sort of past, way past the, 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 the middle line there. Yeah, and the line he was on, he can overhit it by quite a considerable margin and be on that red. So a big disappointment for Zach Cooper here. And this will go close to the end off this. Oh, his foe was happy with that. He could pot it. It's a good pot. He's happy with that. He's get, it might go, you know, to the left middle. It might even go top right, possibly, but it definitely goes left middle. I'm sure it does. Be good if we can get... There you go, see, he's looking at it now. Be good if we can get right behind that red. I don't think we can, but... No. He's going for it, so it, it must go. What a shot. Oh, good effort. Very good effort. comes out for Leicestershire. So we see the miss again. It's not that's not the fault. That's not the error. It was the positional play leading up to that moment for Zach. Now Matt's had an up and down weekend so far. He's had a couple of brilliant moments, but he's had a couple of frames where he knows he should have put them away and didn't. In one frame where he ended up winning it. He needed multiple chances for it. So he would love to put some class onto this counter clearance and make it nice and simple for him. He's certainly a player with the ability to do just that. Well, this is the ideal start for Leicester. Build up a quick lead. And again, I think that was Staff's main problem earlier on is they didn't start quick enough. You know, they threw away quite a few chances. And okay, they got through in the end, which is you know, the important thing, but you can't keep doing that. Not, not against a, a Leicester team like this, especially, the, you know, the standard wise, just you would have to say honestly just a little bit above you know maybe the, the other teams today oh well he's getting back up it's called an extension he doesn't like it he's a bit undecided whether to stun it into the gap or just top it through controlled simple eight ball for a 2-0 lead Leicestershire off to a flyer Matt Bartok this time comes up with his celebration he's done that after every frame victory today Townsend will be going out 
to try and keep it rolling here for Leicestershire. Staffordshire send up big Jake Cooper. He's been brilliant today. Won every frame in our finals group. He needs to deliver once again for Staffordshire. The one thing, though, Jimmy, you'd say is that this isn't the normal race to six that we've seen throughout the weekend. The extra little bit of leeway of being a race to 12 and 80 minutes on the clock means that you can deal with a slower start. Yeah, you know, that's 3 right. is not a you know, disaster that's not they're not able to overcome. It's not exactly where they want to be, yeah. but you can turn that around a lot easier than in a race to six. Yeah, it's exactly what I said. You know, at the start of the show, and how difficult was it out there for me and you with all that noise? It was Couldn't unbelievable. Hear a word saying, to be fair, no, I, I, I was trying to lip read you. Um, I think I just said whatever I wanted to say, and I was like, "What's what Sam just say? I'll just say this." Um, but you, you know, great. I mean, that's exactly what we want to see, isn't it? You know, that's what this event is all about, um, and, it, and it's superb. The feel out there is superb. Just everything about this tournament has been fantastic. Um, not just for the viewers, but of course for the players as well. And obviously for the good of the game. Jake gets the chance then. Touch short of pace there. These yellows do go. Just need a couple of good positional shots along the way. Try and pick these ones off. He's okay. He's actually on the one to the top pocket. As well, so got a choice here really don't really need to get it off the rail would have been ideal if he could have just stopped it and played it long here but well, looks like he's taking on the double if he gets this double you feel that the frame is done if he doesn't, you feel the frame's done. <laughs> yeah, it feels like a very big shot. Double doesn't quite get the cue ball to perfection, so he needs another big shot now. But he'll be riding high with some confidence. I know he's under pressure because he's 2 0 down, but yet to draw a, drop a frame this weekend. He's six from six. I think the biggest issue here is the cue ball, not so much the thing that therefore he might be taking this long. What a, what a shot! That is an unbelievably good shot, fantastic cue in that is, and he's absolutely perfect. Couldn't have landed any better. Just needs to make sure here. Just a soft screw over to the right hand side of the table. Big pocket this. Beautiful. Great visit to the table here at the right time for Staffordshire. Jake Cooper delivers again. When his county has needed him, he has delivered a point. Staffordshire on the board, two frames to one. <laughs> I absolutely love it. Long, long way to go here. From, from your perspective and the team and the, the atmosphere, any thoughts of maybe just pacing themselves at all? They're just going to go the whole way through here. No, it's, that's it. Bull in a china shop now. Go, it's kamikaze go, time now. <laughs> If it starts to get close, Simon, as I said earlier, I'm not sure if you you misheard me there. I knew you were looking at the schedule. If it starts to get close, I'm I'm running out. Me, I'm gonna gonna give it the big <laughs> end on the sidelines. I'm, I'm gonna leave you on your own. So you you're, you've got to be impartial. You're neither, but I'm a staff's I'm a staff's boy, boy, brawn and bred. Yeah, I just feel like I've got to go for Leicestershire just to even up the commentary right. box here because they're right. You're bored. Yeah, we can't you're be. We've uh, <laughs> got to be impartial out here. <laughs> Neil Jones, then he's out for Staffordshire. Build on what Jake has just started. Come 
on, Neil. Come on, Neil. We didn't see Neil in the last match. The pivotal knockout, essentially, even though it was the final group game with Lancashire. Didn't get to the table. In fact, we haven't seen him today. What a time to step up for your county. Looks congested, but these Reds all have homes. trying there but that was very ambitious I think he was just trying to hit the eight ball full in the face and just spread the cluster but he's in a bit of trouble now and that's the problem when you go chasing finishes would have been ideal if he'd have got the loss of turn shot there this weekend, especially yesterday. Lost a frame earlier on today. That's the only one he lost all weekend. He's five from six. through this one really nicely very calm very assured absolutely pinpoint the whole way through and Ross Smith delivers again 3-1 in front Leicester Chanel another point on the board by Ross two frames in front once again missed opportunity from Neil Jones for Leicestershire and it's time for the skipper Rob Warne he's going out for match number five and Staffordshire first time this weekend he's not played number one first time this weekend he hasn't had the break in his frame sitting on, nothing he can do if he doesn't get to the table. Dave Warman will be out there playing with the break. Right then, Rob. Wacker will get to the table, though. It's a good split, but no friends for Dave. Is that a touch short? I think so. I think he wants to be able to do a deal with these two on the left-hand side, back-to-back. -back. Oh, 
he's going to be able to. The only issue now, of course, that he can't get on the one at the top, or he can, but he needs to be top side of it. He can't get it from this yellow, so he's going to have to come down to go back up. So yeah, just so obviously carries a risk here because the way that this table plays, as soon as he hits that red, it could kill the cue ball. Do you think he is hitting it or do you think he can just avoid? Well, he plays with a lot of side drops. He might be able to just avoid with a lot of right and side. He was getting the kiss exactly as you called and he's going to go in off because of it. I think he played for the, kick, the, the cannon on the red as well. He just overdid it slightly. That's an incredible bit of bad luck. But it was the shot, the very, very first shot when he didn't get um, on the one in the middle correctly. It all sort of spiralled from there. So you can always look at that shot and go, that's really unlucky. But the first shot was a poor shot. For the second frame on the trot, then Leicester has come to the table with their, but their colour set completely wide open. Just has to hold himself together and roll through them. at all. A little bit short of pace. Part. He's still just got to get himself back in line here. Oh, it's just a, just okay. He's got it. He can't exactly hit centre of the cue ball, so it makes it slightly awkward. But the only saving grace is he's only got to roll it in. He hasn't got to do anything with the cue ball. So, Does he need to leave an angle on the last ball just to be able to come across to the right-hand side of the table, though, or does he sure. go bottom right? I think he's, if he just tops this through and plays the eight ball to the the right centre, I don't think it goes bottom right. No, That's I what don't. he's looking at now. It's quarter of a pocket if it does. Rob will be praying for a big miss. for it in the middle, lands perfectly on it in the middle. Excellent few recovery shots on the trot for Dave. And it's there. Leicester should put another frame on the board. Dave Warman delivers it. Staffordshire, if you feel like they have all day, have been on the back foot all day long, and it, it certainly feels like that. Yeah, and, and they've had chances. You know, it's not like they've, they've sort of been played off the table. They have had, you know, first chance really in, in a lot of their frames, and, and give them away. Even Rob there, you know, I mean, yes, okay, he was a little bit unlucky to find the enough, don't get me wrong, but the shots prior to that weren't good. Benderfield out there. <laughs> he delivered earlier on. It was the big frame. It was the big clearance. Come on, the defining winning moment in the pivotal qualification match at the end of the group. And he's up against Leicestershire's skipper. 
another drag break. It's not what staffs want to see at the moment. Take it on the plant, first shot. It's not gone too well. Yeah, definitely got his work cut out here, that's for sure. This is me, I think I'm just rolling this yellow that we're closest to here on the right-hand side of the table over towards the left-hand pocket and playing the loss of turn shot. Try to cover the other pocket with this yellow as well to block a path. Something like that, not quite enough. Wanted to block the pocket, but should be okay. Feels very risky right now for the skipper. digging, trying to find something. Doesn't look likely. <laughs> Hoping. <laughs> Hoping and praying. How would you like this for a four-ball plant? I'd rather than me. <laughs> it's a mile off, to be honest. I'm not sure how he's going to make something like that. But he's dug so deep, you feel almost has to keep digging. Yeah, he's, tr he's trying. And that's opened everything up on yellows. The only good news is he hasn't left an easy yellow on. Actually a, a good result for him. Or as good as you could hope for in that situation. Yeah, I think he's got to be clipping off this yellow here and try to lay a snooker behind these two yellows towards the left of the table that are together. He's got to try and get somewhere in that area. It's a bit too firm, but okay. Yeah, yeah nice little right. nudge, that's a nice shot. Frame is Staffordshire's to lose, you feel. Six red shootout, Simon. Could be, could be. If the score finishes tied, when that clock gets down to zero, we'll be going to a six red. Right, now is your chance, Staffs to get back into this match. Everything goes. Short position with cue ball in hand on the only one on the right-hand side. The rest are all there for you. Ben's been good, especially in that final match this afternoon. I just can't help but feel here that the wrong paths are being taken. 
putting themselves under unnecessary pressure. I mean, look where he's left himself here. Yeah, that's a nice pot. Good recovery because it was a poor shot first. Really positive as well, the way he struck that. frame <laughs> fantastic uh, very assured in the end put himself under pressure early in that counter clearance but got the job done Staffordshire needed that long way to go but they get another one back on the board 4-2 they trail and of course these sides did meet earlier on today ended up being 5-2 in that group match earlier on to Leicestershire so it's been more of the same in the final here so far. Staffordshire, you feel, just need to do something to change this up, get some momentum going somewhere. And doing to do that, they're sending out Kieran McDonald. Hasn't played much this weekend, hasn't played at all today. So they've really made some changes as Rob Warne, Staffordshire's skipper. Craig Smith, though, for Leicestershire. He's been ever present in the Leicestershire lineup. <laughs> Cut break, all eyes on the eight ball. It doesn't move. Felt like he hit them really, really quick and didn't really. It's a foul break. Yeah, doesn't fulfill the three point rule. There you go, one, two balls past the center line and nothing down. You have to get a combination of three points, which is a point per ball past the center, point per ball down. And that was a poor one from Craig. And he's not, even though he's been involved today, he's not got too much time out in the arena because he keeps getting cleared up, whether off dry breaks or break clearances. He's not been too involved considering he's played every match. There's not a lot you can do about that. Fez obviously feels that, you know, he, he warrants a place in the squad, so. And what a split this is. Yeah, it is nice. And, and the red that looks a bit awkward to the left-hand side of the table actually goes. So actually these the, are all okay. It's actually the one on the break line, the one he's nearest to that's... The awkward one, yeah. The awkward one, unless it does go top right, but even then it's a little awkward. I think if he drops it to the middle, does he just naturally roll into the yellow or does he go past it and close the end off? So you have to soft screw it on and off the top rail. He's going long yeah, for that reason. From it. That's nice, Kiwi. Only the second frame that Kieran's played all weekend long. He did win his previous frame against West Yorkshire late yesterday. Be tempted to go top left here, I think I would. The only thing about playing this red to the middle is he might knock one of the other yellows towards a cushion, so there is that. I think I'd be going top left. He's landed okay on that. Still has to deal with the red in the top half of the table, and if left centre was his intention, using the one to right centre to get there, 
That yellow may have blocked, well, it definitely has blocked off that path. So he may well have taken another pocket away from that red at the top. Does it go top, top left as we look now? I think it might do. It's tight. It's tight to both top pockets. I think, based on the way that he's going here, I think it does, because he's just going to soft stun this in. Yeah, he's just going to drop on and off the cushion for, for the red. Just needs to land slightly top side of it. So not straight and not too low. Oh, the way he's looking, it definitely goes. Not sure it's the whole pocket, but he's playing on it. I think that's nice. I think as long as you can just screw this cue ball past the middle pocket and not towards the middle pocket, he's absolutely perfect. That's what he's looking at now, looking, looking at the path of the cue ball here. As long as he doesn't screw it off. He needs to keep going. He needs to keep going. It's wow. short. It's possible, but it's short. Needs a bit of luck here, I feel. He's going for the double. He's got it. Well, the issue obviously with it landing where it has now is that Leicester can just get all the balls in the open, keep tying him up. Yeah, the, this frame may take a little while just to work itself out now where that eight ball's gone. This is a tough escape. Because the table slides so much. If he's hitting top cushion, he needs to hit this quite firm. Oh. That's the only good news considering he hasn't fouled is at least he hasn't opened up the eight ball and yellow whilst fouling. I don't think Craig needs to worry about it too much. Just I'd get the other yellow off the cushion as well. Well, you can see what he's trying to do, get the yellow up there and then that becomes a way of breaking it out. Good effort, this. It's a great shot. What a shot that is. Lovely escape. He's done very well here. He really has. That's a great shot. Possibly the, the shot of the final so far. May not get, earn him a chance to win this frame, but he's hanging in. This time, he decides to get that yellow off the cushion. Has he left a, a gap? Come off the side rail, as long as he hits the eight ball first. I mean, it Out the snooker skill shot. <laughs> well, that would be something. I think this is one of those, you've just got to make good contact and, and hope. Hope things go your way. Hang in. Shot. He's got it. That is a oh, great shot. A shot. What a shot that is. Hitting the eight ball, good things can happen there, and they certainly have. That's put, him, that's put major, major pressure on Leicester. Now, what a shot. I mean, it would have been even better if he got the snooker out of it. Oh, he's potted that well, though. That's a lovely shot. Credit to Greg Smith. He's up to it. He's up to that pressure. That's not a good shot. Mm. Come on, oh, Kieran's been brilliant at these mistakes, uh, escapes so far. And with the eight ball tantalizingly close to the corner pocket, one more good escape here, you just never know. This is a real tough line to find. Well, he's worked him out so far. I think yeah. he's going a bit too far for me here. No. Come on, 
you sort of still need to play a shot on the one on the cushion, so I can make the case for that now being last ball. So that you don't have to play a positional shot off it. It's always going to land nice, doing it, and he has. This will feel like frame ball for him. And it rattles but drops. Craig Smith delivers a point for Leicestershire. They're three clear once again. Five frames to two, which was the scoreline when they met earlier on today. Of course, in the final here, it's a race to 12 or an 80-minute match clock, whichever comes first. Steve Chambers comes out. He delivered one of the clearances of the weekend earlier on. Incredible clearance, popping two balls at once. Doubles flying in, queuing them in length of the table. Amazing clearance and celebration to match. Lee Walker, who's, you'd say, he's had a disappointing day so far for Staffordshire. He's had plenty of chances and hasn't done enough with them, certainly for a player of his level. Yeah, definitely needs to start um, clicking somewhere, Lee, because he is a good player, very attacking. But he, he could say the three frames that he played earlier, he certainly should have won them, won them all. Not the best of breaks. Seemed to stun them rather than drive through them there. today. Lost in every match. At the moment he just has to sit and watch as Steve has the first chance here, but it's very congested. Staff's just waiting with bated breath for an opportunity. Oh, it's a lovely shot. May not come with that shot. Having said that, not an easy next shot. Yeah, one good shot here. This is the one. Top left. Yeah, the way he's lining this up tells us he knows that. Just checking out what he'd be leaving and what he wants to leave for himself. No. Nope. Found that a strange way of playing it. For me, if you play on the other red, it's a lot easier. Top it through, cue ball on the other red, and much easier to finish those off. But anyway, that's the decision he's made, and he's missed the pot anyway. Time to right the wrongs from earlier, Lee. Yeah really can do an awful lot of that here if he could win this frame. If he's on the one into the middle, he's OK, but not a shot I'd have played there. I think I'd even been tempted to just lay another snooker there and just wait for my next opportunity because to land on a ball from that shot that he's just played was very, very tough. 
And if he misses his next shot, he's definitely lost the frame. Well, I say definitely, there's no guarantees, but. Yeah, nothing says you have to clear up in one visit. And that's the thing with Lee, he has, he has, you know, he's had the chance earlier on, but he's, at the same time, he has kind of chased. That's a nice part. Good recovery. Don't always need to chase. This coming from me as well. It's I know, it's, I was thinking Jimmy Croxton calling for <laughs> safety shots in the commentary box. Change man. Yeah. Well, decides to come up the table. Not very successfully, though. I thought he might put one in the middle at the bottom and try and get onto the next ball up the table and just leave one down there. Anyway, he's missed the pot to the corner. So. Hands the table back over to Steve. And yeah, another, another chance. You know, really, you've got to say he's, he's getting the chances to win. He's late. And he's not capitalising. isn't easy just slightly off angle on both balls here he'd love to have been straight in on the, the right hand one to top right hand corner may still be the right ball try and screw underneath the other red he takes this one he gets the out bad angle on the next red he may not be able to get on the eight ball I think he's straight enough. Is he? If he's got the wrong angle here, it's going to be tough. I think he's okay. I think he's just okay. Because his margin of error there wasn't great. The amount of time he's taking, it says to me he's not okay. I think if he screws this back, he's coming towards the eight ball. I think he's just off straight. The straight would have been fine. Just off straight's no good. Yeah, from the overhead, I mean, it looks like a big angle. Tries to play super short position on the eight ball and gets it wrong. We're hit very close to the halfway point in this match now. We started with 80. 42 and a half left now. Watch your shot here, Simon. Clip off and just lay the snooker. Clip off this yellow, thin, up the table, leave no shot. Yeah, sometimes though, when you're, you're struggling like Lee is today, you can convince yourself that going aggressive here is the right way. And he has been aggressive. And he's not landed at all. I suppose the only beauty about where he's landed is it's just bottom side. So it's tough to get back to the eight ball here. He's got to play with a lot of side. Oh, that's a great shot. He's played that really well. A little bit of right hand side on the cue ball. All going Leicestershire's way right now. Steve Chambers with a win. <laughs> you have to say, again, you know, staffs have had the chances. Yeah, not the day that Lee Walker wanted at all, is it? That's four straight matches he's lost in. And he's had chances in every frame. That's the thing that will disappoint him the most. And sometimes in pool, you just don't get those chances. But they have, he has rather... Toby comes out. He's not been playing a huge number of frames. We did see him in our last match for Leicestershire. Toby running out there, taking on Gav Davies, who was the man that run the clock down in that pivotal match against Lancashire. He run the clock down without running the clock down, if that makes sense. He kept potting balls, could have used the extension, but the job was done. And he's going to get a chance at the table, straight in off for Toby. Decent chance, it's just that little cluster of three balls on the right hand side. Three or four balls, two yellows, two reds. How does he want to deal with those? I sort of like reds here, if he could put short position on that red straight away, delicate operation maybe, on the one nearest the top right-hand corner with cue ball in hand. 
that one was out the way, then reds are, are good here. I like the red on the right-hand side because it connects the one below the eight ball. But yellows is Toby's choice, and it's a poor first shot. I didn't like yellows. The yellow below the, the red there on the right is, is not great, and he's put another one there as well. And now reds are even better. Out, but thinking that it's just a little bit of a desperate chase at the moment to try and sort of create something, and that's a, that's a very, very dangerous game. I mean, Leicester are halfway to victory here, pretty much, and you've just got to play cages sometimes, let them sort of try and win the match. And, and, and you know, if, if unless they have a, a great, you know, sort of streak of wins, they're going to start making errors because they're desperate to get over the line. Yeah, and it, you know, we can debate whether we went the right colour set or not, but once you've made the decision to go yellows, the first shot doesn't go to plan. Nothing says you have to keep digging. You know, you've only one ball in, and, you know, find a way to get a better chance in the match because there's no clearance here on yellows. just that little bit trickier. Just over the halfway line in the match. The final 10 minutes are a 15 second shot clock, as before. So, staffs could really do with getting back into this game sharpish. Toby just needs to be a little bit careful here because the yellow over the top right hand corner is, is now a, a ball that can be used to break out the bad yellow. So I know there's only four yellows on the table. He's got to be careful not to leave anything on. Now when you're behind is I feel that Staffordshire are here. So you try and find a way. I wonder if he drops this in the centre. Does he leave the angle on the one top right to open things up? Is he on it? I mean, he can pop the one in the centre and maybe go into it as well. He could also play a little bit of a double because he's, he's that red at the top right there is obviously tied up by the yellows. If he gets the double, he's on it. If he doesn't, he's probably still favourite for the frame. So. He's going to put this a lot of right-hand side on this to get into it, and he's going to hit it soft. It's a great effort. It's unlucky. Forgot about the pot. Top right. If it doesn't, he's got very lucky. So that was full blooded, all out, trying to clear up. He would have walked away expecting to lose the frame. So if this doesn't go, very fortunate for Leicestershire. But the way he's queuing up here tells us it probably does just. No, he 
didn't in the end just getting the yellow in front of the reds. Sometimes can be a dangerous ploy, the loss of turn available, but that's tricky from where Toby is. The loss of turn not particularly difficult, but hiding the white is. Leicestershire will certainly be a lot happier seeing this kind of frame than Staffs will. Staffs need to get a bit of a move on, whereas Leicestershire have got that bump of four frames. They don't mind a, a frame lasting 20 minutes there, <laughs> you know, if, if that was... Staffordshire will feel like that clock's flying down, won't they? It's suddenly feel like it's getting away from them. We are well past the halfway mark. Although 35 minutes or 34 and a half is plenty of time. They're only four behind. It's not a disaster here. You need to start getting some momentum, though. They need to try and get themselves into the second session of players and turn it back over to the guys that have been leading the team for them. Give them a chance. Well, he's cleared the pocket. But he's got a tough one on here. If he gets it, it's massive. shot he's going to have to take on. He's got it. Got to play another one now. That's tight into the centre. Is there a... Is there maybe a... a a shout here to play the loss of turn shot and just put the cue ball in behind the eight. Yeah, delicate shot. I, I get that, but if he gets it right, yeah. Another safety shot that Jimmy Croxton's calling for. Right, oh, right, that's right. a tough, tough, tough shot he was taking on. Very tough shot, but I don't think he's left Gav a great deal. Come on, Gav. He's got to find something really good here. He's got to chop it back into a blind pocket. Tough. Certainly wouldn't be screwing it. I know that. Oh, it would have worked out perfectly had he made the pot. Overcut it, though. And Leicestershire have a wide open chance. Couldn't have put it ball in hand better for Toby Vernon than this. It's not ball in hand perfect, it's not too far away. Massive in the grand scheme of this match. That is huge. He knows it. Staffs know it. Gav Davies needs to punish that though. He needs to make that mean something. That was nice. Right behind this, just drop it in. Huge 
frame, I feel, in the context of this match. Especially considering it took up a huge part of the clock. The longer that went on, the more Gav needed to win it. Just couldn't afford to let another one get away. They're back within three. They're trying to cling on as much as they can. They need to build on that, try and win two on the trot, then three on the trot. Ryan Longson comes out to try and keep it rolling, then build on what Gav's just done. There is Ryan from Stoke. County B Knockout Cup champion. Come on, Ryan. That's what they're playing for. Silverware in the background. And Ryan has the break. He's up against Darmesh for Leicestershire. Darmesh at the table. Dry break, good break, but dry. Very good break, but dry. Yellows are now a nicer colour set. Initially, I was thinking it had to be reds because those two yellows at the top were no good. But that one's sliding in. These yellows are nice. They're really nice. It's okay, but the next shot needs to be precise. Can't afford to finish short or straight. Can't go too far past. That's absolutely fine. That's what good, good uh, teams do, isn't it? Not allowing Staffordshire to have any hope in this frame. Build any momentum, make it two frames on the trot. They've lost a frame, that happens, and they've just slammed the door back shut once again with a beautiful finish here from Damesh. Edging closer. 7 3 in front. Still five frames away, but the match clock is starting to run down, so that could be a factor as well got a good advantage so if they want to use the clock they can so this is the final frame of the first session Harry Patel is going to come out and the Leicestershire team really rallied behind him when he won the deciding frame earlier on up against Stu Jones. with the break or come across it and it's going to be dry because of it
Not sure if that was just Harry. Uh, sorry, excuse me, Stu, just saying, no, I don't fancy this finish. I'm just going to bum that over and leave you nothing. He's left half shots on here, though, for Harry. If he wants to be aggressive, he can be. And he chooses to be. This isn't that bad a layout. He'd like the yellow on the left-hand side to pass the red to the top left. Not sure that it does. Other than that, they're all good. It in. That still allows the red to squeeze past the yellow. Staffordshire really just need to start taking out a couple of clinical finishes here. Find something. Yeah, I think if this is me now, if I, you know, get out seven four, and then I'd be top heavy. It'd be Rob, Jake, Zach. Well, they can't change their order. They can sub in players, but the order's predetermined. Ah, right, OK. Yeah, so we know that Jake Cooper, who's... I thought Staff's order with them being away changes. It does change, but uh, Alex Bailey, who's player one, he slides down to five. Ah, it's already predetermined. Yeah, so it's okay. predetermined where they slide to. Jake Cooper was three, so he'll move up to, to one. But, of course, they can sub players out, but they won't sub Jake. How he's been brilliant this weekend, yet to lose a frame. On, Harry. On, Harry. They do have the giant choice to sub into players if they want to, though. But for me, it's more a case of trying to win this frame and allowing their top order that's been successful throughout the tournament to deliver. It's the top order that's going to get them back into this. If you were staffs, if you were to pick a player to sub out, who would it be? You have to say the player that struggled the most today has been Lee Walker, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. I think I think I mean, you probably wouldn't dream of taking him out of the team ordinarily, but he's really struggled and he's, he's clearly not quite a hundred percent at the moment. So, to be honest though, he's playing in position that he would play the penultimate frame, and the way the match clock is going, I don't see us getting that deep into the match. So I don't think we're going to see Lee back out there anyway. But yeah, certainly those are the considerations for Rob Warren. It'd be what he'd be thinking about right now. Is there anything he can do? On, Neil Jones might be the one. It'd be interesting to see what they decide to do. He's not played a huge amount, and he would be second up in the second session. So he's a player they may consider doing something with. Well, here we go. Shot. Yeah, he's always nervous when you're going towards the centre pocket like that, but he controls it well. Yeah. Staffs needed that, they really did need that. Back within three, we've reached the 11 frame mark, so we're going to take a short break. The final 23 minutes and 49 seconds of a brilliant weekend here, and the county team shootout. Jake Cooper who's been flawless throughout the weekend. He's been huge for Staffordshire. He gets us back underway in a frame you feel they have to win. But now it's a dry break. It's Wayne Gardner who has led Leicestershire off all the way through and been brilliant in doing so. Yeah, these two have been um, 
Probably a couple of the standout players. I think Wayne's lost one, you said, and he got broke dished. Yeah. And Jake's not lost a frame so far, so. Both been brilliant. Two of the leading players, head to head, and a huge frame in the context of this match. Apologies there, folks. It is 7-4. We are halfway through this potential 22-frame battle. Right now, you've got one side of the arena, Staffordshire, that would love this to go down to the match clock and get themselves back. They'd be love to try and win the next three, get back on level terms, and then they're unlikely to get to 12. But Leicestershire would just love to keep it rolling and fly along to 12 frames, the winning mark. Still needs to play one really good positional shot. That yellow on the right-hand side is tricky. I think he's got just enough angle to force this across. There's not much there, though. Easy to get this one wrong. What a shot that is. What a shot that is. Superb. Another just brilliant visit to the table for Wayne Gardner. He's been exceptional, especially today. Led Leicestershire all the way through every single match. And he's been brilliant. And we said in the studio just after that first session, Staffordshire needed to win at least one, if not both of the opening two frames here. And they've lost the first one. It will feel an awful long way back for them. That felt very, very big, Jimmy. Huge, yeah, huge. And, and it's, just, mean, it's, also, it's just continuing not allowing Staffordshire to win two frames on the trot and, yeah. and gain any sort of momentum at any point. Yeah, there's no momentum whatsoever. There's no sort of flow to, to, to their play. It's got kind of nick a frame when they can. And um, yeah, they're being find out, found out at the moment. A couple of errors here and there, and Leicester have capitalised and they've, they've played well. Matt Barcock comes out. He won the frame in the first session. He's up against Neil Jones. I just feel Staffordshire need to win two or three on the trot here just to gain a little bit of momentum and take this match as deep as they possibly can. Neil's up now. Rob Warren will follow. And they'll have... Bunderfield, Alex Bailey, Martin Peach has been brought in. Gav Davies. And then there's a few more at the bottom of the order if we need to get there. Leicester shall be as you were. Exactly the same lineup in the same order. Oh, oh. Cue ball straight in there. Well, kicked in. Neil wanted to see that, he gets the chance. <laughs> the 
is this yellow going to finish? It's okay. It's just where the cue ball is now. He could have done with pulling it back a few more rolls. This is now a little bit awkward at the top of the table. Not just the pot, but the path of the cue ball here. And with the rest. <laughs> First appearance of the weekend, I think. Really? Wow. Uh, it's not come to plan. It could be worse. If the yellow creeps bottom left. I'm not sure it does. No, I don't think it does either. But if he doesn't get the side again, it's another chance. You know, that's, like I say, they're, they're getting the chances. Well, it's not the end of the world, I'll be honest. If anything, it's probably done staffs a little bit of a favour. Especially where the yellow was finished, because it's not a straightforward loss of turn shot. Taken his extension just to make sure that he gives himself composed. That's in. I thought he was going to drop. Opportunity to put staffs in real trouble. There we go. Lovely shot, clever. And the only red that's tied up at the moment is going to be brought into play here. Oh, what a shot this is. Yeah, it was a good effort, unlucky. Chance for Leicester, though. You feel this is now the time for Matt Barcock. Would have liked to just pop that red over the middle pocket, and it was never going to be a bad shot to have it as a plant to the top left-hand corner. But he has to now play the one over the top left-hand corner, so the one on on the cushion can become a problem for him. an attempt to move it I think it was the way he hit it. he's been he's been fortunate but there was a lot of margin for error there I don't think he needed to though for me just play on the bottom two and the one up top left now would you know would become last ball and you don't have to do anything with it eight more would be waiting he's gonna take it now yes yeah, the right shot Lovely. Oh, 
couple of turns short, but still on this eight ball. Another frame on the board. Matt, Car Matt Barcock delivers three away now. And we talk about body language. We just cut there to the staff's team and they're all stood there looking sombre, arms folded. It's almost like they kind of know that it's it's over. Zach there on his phone. Yeah, not a good sign, that. No. Not a good sign Head, at all. Heads down, there's no, no kind of positivity about the team at all, is there? there? It's like a team who, who loot beaten. Rhys Townsend out for Leicestershire. He's been excellent. There is Wacker. If ever Staffordshire needed the skipper to deliver, it is right now. They need a traditional trademark. Rob Warren, massive breaking clearance. And he could do with making it a quick one as well. Just one, just one awkward ball here. Sure, he could ever really get there with it, though. It was it was going to take some shot. It's a lot more pace to bring the yellow out, and if anything, he's knocked it worse. It's another frame. He's now probably got to chase a little bit. Although he has got balls there that he can you know, go into it with. was toying with a safety. Very unlike Rob, that. Now that he's got the red in front of the yellow in the top left-hand corner, he felt there was more value in the safety shot. He's played a good one. the table open now wide to Reese, but that right over the top left hand corner is just going to slow him down a little bit but he has control of this frame his plan for the top left here trying to find an angle to play a developing shot not sure there's one available right now loss of turn is risky loss of turn it is it's a well played loss of turn he has left Robert pot down to the bottom left but uh, you can't get on the other red 
he was working hard there actually interesting to he felt he was trying to make sure that he couldn't see the red in the top half of the table and leave him some sort of double or something at the top end well it's kept him in the frame for now yeah, you well, said for now, he's, he's still a mile behind. Yeah, he's in a world of trouble now, and he knows it. He does not look happy. <laughs> oh, has he left that one? It's a loose one from Reese. It's a it tough is. shot for Rob, but he'll just be thrilled to get a shot. goes the first pot doesn't want the yellow in front of them oh, that's unfortunate but he has got enough angle on this red if he can avoid the yellows nearest the top right hand corner to get down the table but oh it would have been so much easier if that yellow had not gone in front of the eight ball I think I'll be playing this with right hand side track on between the yellows he's got it he's got it he's a kiss oh, he's just, about, on it. just about on it Wow, this is very thin. This is a huge frame for, to win this, really, because he shouldn't. He has no right to be in this frame. He's got it. Oh, Brilliant. From what Rob a finish! Oh, could that turn things around? Just huge from Wacker. That is massive, and yeah, you're right. That feels like the first time that Leicestershire have just taken their foot off the gas a little bit. A mistake from Reese, fully punished here from Rob Warren. And some eight ball. Now they need to try and do something they've not managed to do before in the match and win two frames back to back. They send out Ben Duffield to try and do just that. Ross Smith is up for Leicestershire. And also, we've creeped into the final 10 minutes. 15 seconds a shot from here on in till the end. Ross will have the break. Been very good this weekend, lost just the one frame. <laughs> Brilliant cut break. And look at that. It's been the story of the match for me. Staffordshire win themselves a frame, and they're thinking, come on, let's build. And Leicester just, uh, Leicestershire have just not allowed him, and Ross has got the chance here to do that, just that again with a, a really good chance for a break clearance. The sort of finish he's been taking out all weekend long. Yeah, he's fancying for these. A very surprising miss from Ross. The way he kind of played it very nonchalant, it's almost like he tried to miss it, like cover the pocket. Obviously, he didn't, of course. Yeah, no advantage in doing that. Gone for the loss of turn, hiding the cue ball. Doesn't want to leave the one over the pocket. He wants Ross to have to play a plan. It's a, a gamble. The shot is available. And Ross has made it. Is he on the one bottom left? If he is, he's in perfect shape. If he isn't, he's nowhere. I think he can just turn it slightly. Yeah. Landed nice, these. Yeah. 
Another frame on the board for Ross Smith and Leicestershire. They go five clear in the final 10 minutes. Two frames away from victory. It's a long, long way back. It's an awful lot of frames to win in the time remaining here for Staffordshire. They just cannot build a thing. No. It's all looking very somber on this side of the arena. But they can't say they've not had the chances, Simon. It was, the, you know, they really have. I mean, a few frames, okay. Like there, you can't really do much about it. A couple of dry breaks, but generally they've had the chances. And it, it's been the story all day, really. Yeah. Um, you know, they, they've, they've had a lot of chances to win a lot of frames. And you know, although they won, you know, the second two matches of the day today um, against Lancashire and Devon, they were never in full flow compared to what no, they were yesterday. No, exactly. Seven thirty-nine, at least five frames required in that time frame for Staffordshire. They send out Alex Bailey. Eight ball. Oh. Yeah, golden break would help, but wow. not going to be. And nothing else drops. in the top half of the table are a problem here and actually that's not the worst outcome at all for Leicestershire last thing Staffordshire want is a frame that is going to take out a chunk of this match clock they just need quick fire finishes and it's just not there for Alex you do feel that reds have got more chance of the finish than yellows but it's far from easy And that just kind of kills a lot of time here in this frame. Yeah, I love that you know? shot. I really do. It's a great choice of shot for the situation. Stick two more yellows into the, the problem area. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, well. It's just not really the time left, is there, to get five frames, let's be honest. It's gonna be a lot less than a minute of frame, really. This is all that Leicester just need to keep doing. Yeah, that's the right shot for the situation as well. I would say in, a, in an exhibition, there was actually a, a five or six ball plant on available there. <laughs> Drop the one in top left and, and you can go, but you're not going to do that in this situation. It's about killing the clock. I was going to say, I think he has to just open everything up here and yeah. risk losing the frame. Yeah, I, I completely agree. I mean, he's, he's, he's sort of taking his time here in the frame and, and over it, but he's, he's, he, he hasn't got that time to really think. He's got to look at it quick and go, right, make a quick plan and go. I mean, you've got less than five minutes. You ought to win five frames. You, you've just got to open it up. It doesn't matter if you lose this frame now, because, you, you know, if, this, if you win this frame in three minutes' time, you, you, you're done anyway. Exactly right. It's just not, you've just got to go. Got to find a way. There you go. Well, as long as the eight ball stays on the table. Oh, he's all right. Time to go then. That's an excellent shot from Alex. I just can't help but think it's too late. They need just a an influx of break dishes, basically, staffs and... That's not the 
best shot in the world, I'll be honest. Could have come a lot closer to me work there. But That's a nice shot, played that well. I was about to ask you the question, can we build any sort of hope for Staffordshire? Can we come up with a combination of golden breaks or ducks and, and try and dream? But it's not going to be with that miss. It really isn't. Dave Warman can just run through these four remaining balls and make it a six frame advantage. And the match is already over on the clock. Control from Dave, simple eight ball. They're one frame away, but they are six frames in front with only two minutes left on the clock. They know, Staffordshire know. The only thing left to find out, are they gonna get to 12 or is the match clock gonna win the race? But we all know that Leicestershire will be the inaugural county team shootout champions and to me it seems only fitting that the skipper Steve Robert Shaw is going to go out for this next frame he takes on Martin Peach and you feel in a few minutes time he'll be lifting that fabulous trophy aloft for his county Been skipper of Leicestershire for 28 consecutive years, never missed a match, won plenty with his county, but this will be a first, and it will mean a lot. What price, Jimmy, on a skipper? Golden break to win it. Fair's golden break. Give me 20s. 20s. <laughs> it would feel fitting. It's a hundred pound minimum bet. <laughs> it would feel fitting for this event. I'll tell you what, it's a brilliant break. break. <laughs> the eight ball barely moved, but that was fantastic. Well, why not win it with a break clearance? Because they are all there. <laughs> 15 seconds of shot, Steve. <laughs> Nearly caught out. He was chalking his cue for 10 seconds. Well, you have to take your hat off to them. You know, they've done exactly what they set out to do. They've oh. done it well. And it is a foul. Foul for touching the ball underneath his body. Just when he thought he was going to round the match off in style. He fouls. Allows Martin Peach to the table. can see the funny side of it because he knows his team is over the line. We're into the final minute. Well, can maybe we'll run around and, f and finish the match off. Maybe we will still see them get to 12 then.
32 seconds. Three balls. The skipper at the table. Don't forget to pot the eight ball, Steve. <laughs> Just catches himself in time. Pots it with a few seconds to go. Leicestershire are the county team shootout champions. They win 12 frames to five over Staffordshire. It's been a brilliant weekend here on Ultimate Pool TV. All eight teams that have played have really put on a show for us. I think it's fitting that we will have a big round of applause for every single player and team involved in the event. Obviously, we've seen two great sides make it through to the final. Let's have a few words with Staffordshire's captain, Rob Warren. Come on forward. <laughs> Rob, it's been a, a tough day. You've had to grind really hard to make it through to the final. You just couldn't get any momentum going there. Yeah, we struggled through really today. We haven't quite fired how we you know, found the form last night and uh, just wasn't good enough in the final. You know, Solid Leicester team and, and they've played well. Yeah, it's one of those that I guess yesterday you were firing today, you just couldn't get any rhythm going every single time you won a frame, they just stopped you in tracks. Yeah, we just, it's just not seemed to happen. You know, we do get back on track and then we'll have a dry break or they'll knock in a good clearance and just haven't managed to get a, a decent foothold in a match, really. Obviously, you came in here first first tournament, first matches as captain. How proud are you of the, the job that yourself and all the lads have done to make it through to this final? Uh, yeah, great achievement for us to get to the final. They, they've been an absolute pleasure to captain. I've had no issues with them whatsoever, and they've all put a shift in on the table, so I'm really happy with them. Well, congratulations to yourself and all your team for a great run through to the final. It's been a brilliant run through to the final for Leicester. I think let's get the Leicester captain up, Steve, for a few words before we hand over the trophy. Steve, what a weekend. That was an amazing uh, run through, but what a final and what performance. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's, um, we've been pretty solid um, over the two days. Uh, we've not been beaten. Um, I think that's five wins now um, and two draws. Um, echoing what Rob says, um, two great teams played in great spirit. Under the lights, first time here. I'm over the moon. <laughs> Loving it. Obviously, we talked a lot at the beginning of the week. You've been captain of this side for an awful long time. It's meant a lot to you. You've won an awful lot as well, but what does this mean? This is perhaps the icing on the cake, you know, to, it's, a, it's the first sort of major TV event we've been involved with. Um, this is 21st title well, I've sort of been captain with. I've got to get that in there. Um, <laughs> and it's, uh, I look forward to number 22. You've got a brilliant team, a great squad there. Obviously, a lot of the guys at the top were really firing for you. But when the guys further down needed to deliver, everybody in this team has, has really delivered points when you've needed it. Yeah, we, we've um, you know we, we've always proud of, uh, made ourselves proud of strength in depth, uh, and that's what you need. Um, you know, but um, you know winning this is a, is great for all of us who travel up and down the country once a month. You know, it's a great uh, advertisement for County Pool. Yeah, it has absolutely been a brilliant advertisement for County Paul. There's no doubt about that. Steve, thank you for your time. I'm going to bring you back up in a minute for the trophy. But there's a couple of other bits and pieces we want to do before that. I'm going to call up Wayne Gardner for a few words. He has been voted as player of the tournament. <laughs> Wayne, what an achievement to, to win this title with your team. But you've been out for, first for every single set, every single session. And you've delivered on all but one frame. Well, you didn't even get to the table. Yeah, uh, it's, it's not obviously, obviously nice to be player of the tournament, but <laughs> uh, well, a bit specious really. But um, listen, it doesn't matter if, if I get that. It's a team. It's a team game, and they've been brilliant. Yeah, what's it been like to, to play for this team and, and play for your for your skipper? Oh, he, he's fantastic. <laughs> look at him. Look at him. He's, fa he's fantastic. What a man. What a man. Um, but there's, there's no there's no one that enjoys the pool more than Fez, and it's, it's an absolute pleasure to play for. Really. Well, congratulations on a great tournament, and you are the player of the tournament. Well, it's nearly time for us to hand out this beautiful trophy. Let's call up EPA Chair Barbara Taylor to come in and hand over the trophy. Barbara, this was, we spoke at the beginning of the weekend on Friday night, we talked about what this, this tournament could be and yeah. it's delivered, it's felt like it's delivered on all fronts. I think it's been a great advertisement for, for County Pool and obviously Ultimate Pool and the English Pool Association are very, very pleased to have been able to put this event on and hopefully it's the first of many 
and yeah I think it's been a great showcase and it's been great to be involved in so yeah thank you and thank you for all the crew and everybody else and all your hard work because you've had a few breaks you've had a few breaks <laughs> thank you Barbara thank you for your help on commentary uh, as well I think the final thing for us to do this weekend is bring Steve Ford hand over the trophy for Leicestershire right the county shootout champions Well, what a weekend it has been here. The inaugural county shootout event has been held. It's been brilliant. All eight teams have really delivered, but it is Leicestershire that walk away with the trophy. The action continues thick and fast here on Ultimate Pool TV. We're back tomorrow night with the pairs. Players' Championship continues next week as well. We'll see you for all.